In part 19 of this series, where we're building a quiz application with AngularJS, we're going to move away from our quiz controller and start building out the controller that will handle the logic for the results. Welcome back to part 19 of this course on AngularJS. And before we just move on with this video, I just want to point out that I made a, a small typo on this line in the previous video. So I just want to correct that in case you're following along and you can't quite figure out why the code's not working. It was just a quick typo there. So now if we head into our quiz controller, so we set quiz metrics dot change state and we changed the state of the results active flag on the quiz metrics object, which is this flag here. We change that to true. And we will use that now to display our results page. So to display the results page, we need to actually create it. So we'll head into our HTML and just below our quiz controller, we'll create a div. And here we'll say ng controller. So this is gonna be our results controller, so results CTRL, and we'll use the results as an alias. Save that, and now we need to actually create the results controller. So we'll come into this tab, we'll close out our quiz controller, and we'll create results.js, which is of course inside our controller's directory. And we'll start it out in the same way that we've done all of the rest of our controllers with our immediately invoking function expression, and then we'll call angular.module and we want to fetch the turtle facts module dot controller results ctrl and we'll call results controller we'll create that function here And we'll just use our var vm equals this syntax. But now, of course, we want to change the visibility of our results controller div based on the results active flag on our quiz metric service. So to do that, we need to inject that service into our results controller. So we'll do that by calling our results controller function and using dollar sign inject and inside the array we'll just give it quiz metrics and then as an argument in our controller function we give it quiz metrics and then we'll just bind that onto the view vm.quizmetrics equals quiz metrics and before I forget, we need to add the script tag for this controller. So just below where we've put all the rest of our controllers, we'll link to js slash controllers slash results.js. And then we'll just put some text in here, just so we know that this div is actually displaying and we'll put ng show and we want to show based on this results active flag being true so we can get hold of that from our quiz metrics object inside the results controller so results dot because we're now inside our results controller quiz metrics dot results active and we will save that and come into our browser and we'll start the quiz and we'll quickly speed through the quiz yes we are sure and that's not supposed to happen but if we scroll down we can see hello world so what's happened here 
Well, what's happened is we've displayed our hello world using the ng show, but our list controller is showing. So if we head back into our HTML and take a look at why that may be, if we scroll up to the top where our list controller is, we're ng hiding on the quiz active flag on the list controller. But remember, that's set to false by default. And then when our list controller has finished, we set the quiz active to true. And then that obviously hides our list controller and in turn displays the quiz controller. But when we're finished with the quiz, we wanted to get rid of the quiz, so we set quiz active back to false. And we did that in our change state function. And we called the change the quiz and we set it back to false. So that means that our list controller will also display now that the quiz is finished. So we need to amend this ng hide and we want it to hide when the quiz is active or when the results are active. So we can come in here and we want to reference our quiz metric service and because we're in the list controller now we want to say list dot quiz metrics. So this is the same service that we've been referencing in the quiz controller and now the results controller and we want to say results active and then save that. So this syntax here is just saying if the quiz is active or if the results are active we want to hide our list controller. So we save that and come back into the browser When we scroll to the bottom we can see the hello world isn't there anymore it's because we've refreshed it and the results obviously aren't active so we don't see the results controller and now we'll skip through the quiz again quickly are we sure yes hello world and the quiz is now disappeared the list controller isn't displaying anymore and we've just got the hello world which is from our results controller so that's exactly what we want and now we can move on to creating the markup for our results page. So I'll see you for that in the next video. For those of you that haven't checked out my website yet, I do a full article write-up for every single video that I put out on YouTube and that will include code snippets and other little things that will help you along. The link to the write-up for the current video is on the bottom left of the screen. And if you just want to continue watching this video series, then just click the link in the center of the screen and we'll get started with the next video.